<laughs> hey, what's up guys? It's Matt with The Movement System. Today we're going to be talking about linear periodization. So we're going to talk about how this applies to sport athletes, why we might use this periodization scheme, and how you practically would design a program that, that works with this periodization scheme. Alright guys, let's go ahead and dive into it. Alright, so linear periodization is a model where we manipulate the training variables from off-season to pre-season to in-season, specifically by increasing intensity as the season approaches and decreasing volume as the season approaches. The main reason that we're doing this is because we want to allocate training volume to the sport in-season, whereas off-season, most of our training volume is going to be dedicated to the weight room. So, when we're thinking about off-season, we're going to have high frequency training, meaning that we're going to be in the weight room with athletes four, five, six times a week doing higher volume training. So this might look like circuit training. Um, it might look like higher reps, three sets of 10, three sets of 15. Um, some people will call that GPP or general preparatory phase work. Um, basically, we're in this off-season mode allocating all of our training volume to growth in building a base of physical preparation, we can manipulate that in pre-season and then in-season. All right, so as we move from the off-season to the pre-season, volume is gonna decrease a little bit. So say off-season we were doing three sets of 15 goblet squats. As we move to pre-season, we might load up a barbell. So if, if three sets of 15 goblet squats is at 50%, now in pre-season, we're gonna to go, to, go to say three sets of 10 with 75% on the barbell. So our volume went down, we went from three sets of 15 to three sets of 10, but our intensity went up from 50% to 75%. And that general trend is gonna continue with all of our exercises. Now the, the focus of the preseason, guys, is building strength. So the start of the preseason, we're in that hypertrophy phase and, and starting to drop reps down into that strength zone. By the end of preseason, we're going to be dropping down to you know four sets of eight, four sets of six, and getting right towards that power range. So preseason is focused on strength. Off season is focused on general preparation and hypertrophy. Then when we, when we get to in season, that's when we're going to be focused on power. Now, why do we focus on power in season? Well, power is what we call a transient gain meaning that the gains that you have in power don't last nearly as long as, as hypertrophy gains. If you build some muscle hypertrophy in the off-season, training four or five, six times a week, and in-season you're only training one, two, or maybe three times a week, you can still maintain hypertrophy. Whereas power training, if you do power training off-season, and then you, you stop doing jumps, stop you know doing power training, those gains will, will be gone more rapidly. So... In season is when we really focus on building power. You're going to think about, you know, plyometrics, uh, heavy trap bar deadlifts with really low reps. So maybe something like uh, six sets of two trap bar deadlift, um, you know, something like that. Even like med ball throws, something explosive. That is going to be in season. And again, in season is when we have our lowest volume. So sets of one, two, three, four, and our highest intensity, you know, 85, 90, 95% one rep max. This will basically allow the athlete to, as they approach the season, have a less fatigue. The reason for that is that fatigue is, is really highly associated with volume. So high volume training gives you a lot of muscle soreness and a lot of fatigue, central and peripheral fatigue, and that's okay off season because it's not gonna impact the game that you're gonna play if you're a sport athlete, or the performance you're going to have. Whereas in season, we keep that, in t that volume really low, so that way you can have high training and performance volume. So if you're a soccer player, off season, all, of your, all your volume was allocated to weight training, whereas in season, low volume weight training, and then higher volume of, of playing in that sport. All right. We're, again, to review, guys, frequency off-season, we're thinking about four to six times per week of weight training sessions. Pre-season, that's going to drop down to three to four times per week. And in-season, as a strength coach, you might only see your athletes one to three times per week, whereas the sport coach is going to have a lot more time with those athletes. All right, and then just to review that, pro that programming, off-season, you might see something like three sets of 15 of a 50% goblet squat that volume is going to drop to three sets of 10 in the preseason, and then maybe towards the end of the preseason, three sets of eight, 
but that intensity is going to bump up to 75, 80%. As you go in season, our intensity is going to go way up, and this might be counterintuitive that we're lifting the heaviest in season, but again, that allows the volume to be really low, but we can still maintain the adaptations because we're going to maintain our hypertrophy, maintain our strength, and build power. We'll maintain some power throughout the year, but we're going to maximize and peak our power at the time of performance in season. All right, guys, so hopefully that's been helpful for you. If you do have any questions, go ahead and drop them down in the comments. I'm going to be doing future videos about different forms of periodization, block periodization, you know, undulating periodization, and stuff like that, as well as other videos about strength conditioning. If you're interested in that, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss them. One more thing, guys, if you want to join the Strength Conditioning Facebook group for free resources and more videos like this, go ahead and search Strength Conditioning Study Group on Facebook or click the link in the description below. See you in the next one.